Hello, Craig Smith of the Home Education Foundation in Palmerston North, New Zealand. We're here to talk about home education, how we parents can educate our children at home rather than send them off to some institution somewhere to be reared by strangers whose worldview could be quite different to our own. In fact, it could be quite antithetical and opposed to our own worldview. And of course, they'll be raised by the peer group who, generally speaking, are not good for your children at all. The, one of the biggest benefits we've noticed in our 31 years of educating our eight children at home, the biggest benefit has been able to corral our children off from other children out there. Oh, children from families whom we love, families that we would die for, have been some of the ones who, for whatever reason, have been the the path of influence for some of the bad, worst stuff. The Bible tells us that foolishness is bound up in the heart of the child and so when you get a whole bunch of children together you have multiplied vats of foolishness all boiling together. They're revving each other up. You've seen what happens when you get a whole room full of eight-year-olds together. They just rev each other up and they do not socialize each other to be very um, sociable <laughs> in one sense. But that's the famous socialization everybody talks about. You've got to have children hanging around lots of other children for long periods of time so they can socialize, you know, teach each other the finger signs and the dirty jokes and the bad attitudes and the disrespect. That's what has become acceptable as socialization. Well, it's unacceptable. And we don't like that at all and that's what I say is one of the biggest benefits. We've been able to corral our children off from so many of their peers. It's just not been a good influence so we've been able to cut that stuff out. All the junk that goes on in the schools it comes back into the home because the kids socialize with each other pick up all the stuff and bring it home no good I didn't want that and so I figured if you know the kids if they're even going to any kind of institution even a Christian school or Sunday school because it's an institution there's something about it which is not good and they bring this stuff home don't need it <clears throat> so that's uh, what we would say about socialization keep it to a minimum socialization, conventional wisdom tells us, is when lo little children need lots of time with other children, they need it to become properly socialized. Well certainly to become like their peers, they need to spend a lot of time with their peers. But I look at the peers and I say, I don't want my children like that, no, no, no. So I, I chop that off and so I want my children, and this is what we strove to do, is to have our children spend a lot of time with us more, let's hopefully I can use terms that res re apply to my wife and myself, more responsible, mature, warm, uh, responsive adults who will interact with the children at their level and, and more properly at an adult level to bring them up to a higher level of socialization to help them know how to emulate and uh, conduct themselves in an adult mature social way. So don't listen to the arguments about socialization. It's a myth. It's a non-issue. The socialization that takes place out there is generally speaking pretty bad stuff. <coughs>